guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm gonna be doing a chit chat get ready with me which is way different than what i typically do for a get ready with me video i decided to sit down talk with you guys update you guys um and explain the revamp of my channel so if you're interested to not only hear what i have to talk about but also see me do my makeup then just keep watching Nobody got me the way that you did Had my eyes rolling back Had me out from my back Now you love me so good I wish you would hurry up and come back oh, I don't have you here I'm going to be trying to talk as I do my makeup This is like my first time doing this So uh, let's just hope that all goes well I'm gonna try and tell you guys what I'm using as I'm using it And also talk about the things that I want to talk about But if by chance I'm not telling you what I'm using. I'm just going to make sure that I put everything that I use down in the description down below. So disclaimer, uh, you probably will hear a lawnmower in the background. It just so happens today is mow the lawn day and I decided to sit down and do this video. So hopefully it's not too annoying. If it is, I apologize. And if it's really, really bad, then I probably won't even post this video. But quick disclaimer. First thing that I'm going to be using for my face is this primer. This is the Wet n Wild coverall primer i have used this before but i don't really reach for it that often um i don't really have too many primers that i use i did moisturize my face and wash it before i started my makeup so that's that but um i actually got a thing in the box with some stuff that my girlfriend had got me for a little, 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 little i can't even talk from Fenty, she got me some things from Fenty while I was gone in Florida for vacation and when I came back, uh, the box obviously was here, uh, she gave it to me and inside the box was this little sample packet of some of the foundations. These obviously are not all the shades because Rihanna has numer numerous amounts of shades uh, to choose from but I do have her foundation which I will be using today. Primer is in here which is this one right here. And I was going to try it today, but I figured I'll just wait on that to try it another day, uh, kind of like off camera. And if I do like the product, I will purchase it, obviously the full size. But I thought it was kind of cool that and convenient that that came in the box because I, that is something that I did want to purchase. So now that my face is sprayed down with some Max Fix Plus spray to kind of like hydrate it a little bit, um, I'm going to go into two foundations. I'm going to use the NARS natural radiant foundation and the Fenty uh, beauty foundation I'm gonna use both of them I'm gonna mix them only because I kind of like have a little tan so I don't know if the I think the Fenty might be a little too light for my skin tone so just to add a tad bit of darkness I'm gonna add Syracuse in the NARS one um, and mix them together and kind of like see how that works okay so now I'm gonna mix the two I'm gonna kind of mix it on the back I'm gonna mix it on the back of my hand but I'm gonna use this brush to kind of like mix it together apply it to my face but I'm not gonna use this brush to blend it in um, new with me let's start with that so there are a lot of things that are new with me honestly um, I guess we can just start with the fact that I mean maybe I need to silence my phone I guess we can start with the fact that I am now in Connecticut and no longer in Jersey. I came to Connecticut like, I want to say like February? No. Actually, I came to Connecticut December of last year, but I left, like I came here, dropped my stuff off because uh, I was staying with my aunt at the time and then I went to Florida until the new year then once the new year hit I came back to Connecticut and been here ever since and I just came back from Florida recently because I just went on vacation but uh, Connecticut is where I was born I am gonna rub it in a little bit with this brush but I'm going to uh, go back in with a beauty blender to kind of like um, make it seamless because this brush that I'm using just makes it look a little patchy but I do want to uh, mix it in as best as I can right now because that Fenty foundation does dry down pretty fast 
Um, what was I saying though? Guys, I'm terrible at this and I'm so sorry. Oh yes, so I moved here to Connecticut. Obviously me and my wife are no longer together. We are separated. We're still legally married, working towards the divorce, um, but separated and no longer together. And you know what? Things happen for a reason. You know, I am a big believer in that. Everything happens for a reason. Um, I do have someone new in my life who means everything to me. And we're making it work, you know? So I'm really, really happy. You guys don't have to worry about that. Like, I am extremely, extremely happy. And I'm just living my best life. Also, the job that I had in Jersey, uh, I did make a video and put that on here. Uh, that job was an amazing job and I love that job. I did work from home for a while. They allowed me to do that when I moved to Connecticut. Um, so that was like a plus on the whole situation. But um, I no longer work for that company. So I'm in the process of looking for work elsewhere here in Connecticut, uh, which is fine. You know, I'd rather get up and go to work versus being at home and working from home because you can get very complacent, very lazy, very fast. And that was definitely me. All right, so I am going to use my beauty blender to kind of like blend this in, kind of speed up this process a little bit. And then I'll be back to do some more makeup and talk to you guys about the revamp of my channel. Okay, now on to concealer. I am going to use the NARS concealer in the pot this is medium dark one this is biscuit I love this one honestly I think I like this better than the, the Tarte shape tape I still like the Tarte but I just like maybe it's just a shade maybe I just need to get a shade darker in the Tarte one and maybe I like it better I don't know but this one doesn't give me that much of a brightening effect and I think that's why I like this one so much but we're just gonna pop a little bit of this under the eyes now as far as my channel goes I really want to, I know I, I feel like I've been saying this for so long that, oh, I'm going to be serious about it. I'm going to make videos and I'm going to be consistent with it and blah, blah, blah. And I feel like no matter how much I've been trying or had tried in the past, I wasn't being consistent. You know, for a while it was like consistency, video after video, three uh, uploads a week. Like I was doing really good for a short period of time. It wasn't even that long, but I, I was doing pretty good. But then it's like, I feel like. I love doing makeup, I love sitting here creating these videos, these memories, you know. Um, but when I am going through something, which it seemed like I was always going through something, or it was, it seemed pretty constant for a while, um, it was hard for me to like build the, that strength up to still want to do it. I just stopped and I decided that I'm not going to start posting on my channel until I feel like I'm not only in a good space, but able to still find passion in what I'm doing, um, regardless of what I'm going through, you know, regardless of my circumstances. And I feel like I've grown so much within these past couple of months that have passed since I've been on YouTube. It's been almost a year since I posted a video, not quite, I don't think. Um, but I feel like I've grown since then and I feel like I'm truly ready now, you know? So, I want to give my channel a whole new look. At first, I was thinking about, like, creating a whole new channel and just getting rid of this one altogether. But then I'm like, wait, why would I do that? When I can just, um, you know, private old videos that I no longer want to be shown or just delete them or whatever the case may be. Whatever it is that I choose to do with them so that way it's not viewable to the world. And then, but I love creating videos. Makeup, like, I'm, I am I love makeup. And for a while, when I did stop doing makeup, when I was going through all that stuff, and then when I started, like, I, it almost felt like I didn't know what the heck I was doing. I was like, what, what in the world? Like, it's been so long, I don't know what I'm so doing. I wanted to try this color powder versus using translucent powder under my eyes because I feel like the translucent powder, even though it's supposed to be quote-unquote translucent, I feel like it still leaves kind of like a white cast under my eyes and it makes it or you know because it gives it that brightening effect and I don't really like it so or I'm not crazy about it 
on my natural days, I don't want to be looking that bright. So I purchased this Maybelline Mineral Powder. This is in the shade, this is like the darkest shade they had, which is pure beige. Don't know how dark that's going to be. Probably not dark at all, but we are going to see. So I'm going to use some of this and tap some of it. really really fine powder and I like that about it that's it I have not really messed with this palette since I bought it which is sad uh, this is the Tarte Pro palette I'm pretty sure you guys have seen it in action before but I'm gonna use it today for my eyeshadow look I don't really know what I'm going for but we'll see what we come up with so my camera got hot on me so it shut off hopefully it recorded everything that I was just talking about previously but um, I went ahead and opened up this Rihanna, uh, the Fenty Eye Primer, uh, Pro Filter Amplifying Eye Primer. This thing goes on so, this goes on so freaking glossy at first, I was scared. But we're going to see how the pigmentation shows up with the eyeshadow with using that. So I'm going to use the M4. For one and go into bold in that tart palette and I'm just going to put this all over my lid kind of like to set that primer that I put down so I'm just like sloppily not sloppily but sloppily putting it on I don't even know if that was word that didn't even sound right I'm not being neat with it let's just say that well moving right along now I'm gonna take um, I'm gonna do something very like simple esque I'm gonna take mod just like a light burgundy kind of color and I'm gonna put that inside of my crease and kind of cradle that back and forth now I'm gonna go in with drama which is a darker plum looking purple same brush tap it off and kind of like start on the outskirts blend it in. I'm just going to blend this in a little bit more um, with a clean brush and then I will apply my mascara which I will be using the Benefit Roller Lash from the Top Lashes and I'll be using the uh, Rimmel which is rubbed off because I've had it for so long but I know it's Rimmel for my bottom lashes. I'm not going to do false lashes today and um We'll be back for the end of the look. Because uh, I don't think I have anything else to talk to you guys about. Not that I can remember. So, Okay guys, so this is the finished look. Can we just take a second to just talk about how hard it has been to film and do my makeup and talk and have a conversation all at the same time. Normally, I feel like I'm good with multitasking. But this task was a little too hard for me. Um, I liked it though. It was fun. It's going to take some getting used to talking and doing makeup at the same time. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If there are any other questions that I have not answered for you guys about me being MIA, um, just leave your questions or concerns down below or you can hit me up on any of my social media sites. I will talk to you guys later in the next video or vlog, whichever one comes first. Until next time. Bye guys.